open the antique trunk. That trunk looks really old. Would you mind if I try to get this open? Please do. In fact, if you get it open, I'll let you keep something from it. You can have your pick. Click on the box twice. The initials on this trunk. Whose are they? Do you know? I have no idea. Try inserting the square turning Something keys. goes the wrenches here. you found in the desk back at the ranch. Since you do not know what the combination is, back up and look around the store. Look closer at the book display and read about the author, Charlena Purcell. It sounds like she knows a lot about the area's history, so give her a call. It would be rude to make a phone call while in the store, so step just outside. After long introductions and being on hold, you'll get to talk to Charlena about the trunk. Charlena Purcell's office. Hi, my name is Nancy Drew. May I please speak to Miss Purcell? This is Charlena. Who is this again? Uh, Nancy Drew? Tell me about the trunk you found. Well, to open it, I need to put these wrenches in these three holes. But I don't know in which directions they need to be pointing. That does sound like it came from the Humber family. Is there any kind of picture on it? Yes, as a matter of fact, there's this kind of abstract design made up of hearts and doves and the initials E-H and A-H. E-H would be Eldridge Humber and A-H would be Abigail Humber. Frances Humber's grandparents on her father's side. Her mother died when she was 10. Now, the picture no doubt commemorates their wedding day, which was 4-9-11, April 9th, 1811. Those numbers must have something to do with the directions in which those wrenches need to be pointing. Back inside, insert the wrenches and rotate them to point to the clock times 4, 9, and 11, and the trunk will open. I got the trunk open! Great, thank you. Go ahead and take something from it. You deserve a reward. Be sure to take the pocket watch. It's the only item you need from the trunk. A pan. 